dog. And like, why? I don't know. Because I love her and I want everyone to watch her. Like, I want everyone to see my dog. And so, like, I post videos of my dog. And I post, um, but no one's watching. No one watches it, I know. But so I still I don't know. And, and I post videos of, um, this is weird. This is totally weird. I do, um, Yoga and Stability Ball tutorials on YouTube. Live? <laughs> no. No, no, no. YouTube's not live. No, but you know those giant exercise balls? Like, I, I do those tutorials. <laughs> and people watch those. And those I get comments on, but that's a completely different type of comment. Wait, you post, like, you teach people how to do the yoga ball? Mm -hmm. and, okay. Mm -hmm. People must watch this. Not the type of people I want. Not what? <laughs> not, yeah. Uh, <laughs> like, it was like, I, I kind of stopped, I started taking them off because it was just like not the intended goal at all to get like the kind of commentary that I was doing. Yeah. You can, you can forbid comments. What? You can forbid comments. I know, but I, yeah. The comments are sort of. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Then you find out who's really looking at it. Yeah. yeah. And then I follow them on YouTube. Uh, no, those just happened to be two things that I was like watching at the same time, and I realized that they were similar, so it was just like natural. <laughs> what are the similarities of the uh, Well, they both are really focused on this aesthetic of like bright colors and rhythmic editing, and the individual uh, individual personalities of the characters. Uh, but also, what I realized after working on it. Uh, these two things, which like span almost 15 years, uh, both deal with like this classic theme of uh, coming of age and isolation, but they're both through this like really uh, glittery lens that doesn't really acknowledge that at all. So if you were an X-Men, um, a Nightcrawler, because he's like the darkest one. Russian team. Uh, Professor X. <laughs> How did you do that? Uh, you all probably know CS5 just came out, and yeah. a great new feature in that. And After Effects uh, is the Roto Brush tool, which allows you to, uh, like basically you just mouse over Wolverine and go forward a couple more frames, mouse over Wolverine again, and it separates it all out as if you had traced it yourself. And so I just like realized that that existed, and like I gotta make something with this immediately. That brings up a question in, um, you know, art using computers. So do you feel like the artist, um, like, what is your relationship with the tools? So obviously, the tools, if in, in part, driven your art. I mean, do you, do you, how do you see the relationship between yourself and like the guy sitting at a computer in India who's writing, writing that tool, and like his right. creative process? Um, you know, perhaps it's similar to people painting that don't make their own paint, which is perhaps most painters, um, and perhaps also in painting. I, I originally used to be a, paint, a painter before I did digital work. Um, you know, just like working with a paint, like your ideas kind of develop as you're working on the process. I feel like that organic process is really how I go about making work digitally. 